Hello, this is Wolfgang Müller speaking. I'm the founder of Blue Dolphin, the first community, international community of people and companies um, that want to reach hyper productivity based on self organization and theory of constraints. Um, and part of this is, as I introduced in the basic tutorial, um, get rid of the too much whip, too much work in progress. Uh, that's a precondition for everything else. So we invented and programmed this smart pipeline Excel tool um, to identify the constraint, make sure that the constraint is not over or underloaded, um, and stagger the projects according their strategic priority to find a good balance um, and get the optimum out of the business. So that's that was part one. That was a basic tutorial. Um, here in this tutorial, I just show um, two um, advanced features are not necessarily uh, important for, for the daily work. Uh, one is the capacity model behind the smart pipeliner, and the second one is uh, the mass import functionality to get very fast all the projects or initiatives or releases or whatever, all the planning data into the sheet. So I just share uh, the screen for the Excel. So most of the companies we are working with, with this um, smart pipeliner, already have planning data out of the budgeting process and stuff like this. So, um, and uh, normally you, you have this project list where you put in all the projects and start dates. And for each project, as you know, you just can click on here and you see the distribution of load, huh? the person days per team per month. Um, and in the beginning, it's it's it takes a little time huh, to set up all these projects, uh, put in all the data, and very often the data is already available. Um, the quality is not per perfect, but it's available in form of a table. Hmm? So very often, you have an Excel or you can generate easily an Excel with the project name, the name of the team, you need resources, what is budgeted, and of course, a little distribution over the time. Uh, you need 10 developers uh, for four months or something like that. Uh, so you know you have four months and you have the load, hmm. how much effort you need, and I just showed it here in the in the typical uh, way. So you have month, uh, first month, second month, third month. You have the teams, you have the person days. So that is typically a planning you should have as project manager or out of the budgeting process. So you can easily put this in a list. And the interesting part is now you don't have to generate all the project files and stuff like this. Um, it, you, you simply can uh, use a macro, and the macro is not really shown here in the video. That's a little uh, stupid, so I hope you see it. Otherwise, I can uh, tell you the name afterwards. Uh, the macro is called Generate or Override Project Sheets from Import, and if you if you activate this macro, um, then he sets up all the project sheets in one uh, one run, and um, everything is imported, and you can immediately start with pipelining. Um, the interesting stuff in this here in this uh, table import table, you see um, it's imported, so the data is is generated, um, but there may be a a problem, maybe you have uh, forgotten to enter a project. Just have to go to the project list. So maybe this project six, or you have a typo, huh? it's a 66 or something like that. Um, and if you send, then start the import, he does not know what to do with this data. So I just start the generate or override. So and then you see here messages uh, like, OK, the project number six is not in the list, therefore it's not imported. Um, 
Um, sometimes you use a typo or a typo in the pro in the team, then the message comes, okay, team is missing a project sheet, and that also means not imported. So now you already have uh, imported five projects, but the sixth is missing. So um, in this case, you you can change, of course, the project list. Okay, oh, there was a typo, you can fix it. And then you can use another macro if you want to be sure that the already imported stuff is not um, uh, not overwritten. Maybe you change something again. So you can use uh, the macro C, secure generate project sheet from import. So thank you for, for listening and your attention. Um, it's just um, two advanced features of the smart pipeline. One is the capacity model and the other is the import. Uh, feel free to do experiments with this. You can always do a copy of the smart pipeline, of course, if you do such experiments. So, but both functions are very useful if it comes to high scale companies. And we are using the smart pipeline with companies of 1,000, 4,000 people. That's no big issue. And then you have to deal with a uh, bigger amount of data and maybe more uh, accurate data um, to convince managers and therefore the uh, smart pipeline also has functions like this. Thank you a lot and have fun with the smart pipeline.